Hey babes, this vlog has been like a month in the making. So much is happening in life behind the scenes, which I'll get into, but here's a proper intro. All right, so in this corner of our house, in the dining room, we have this chest, which was in the bedroom in our old home and held a lot of my ritual items, but now it's kind of like a communal space. So um, we have, you know, incense and um, aromatics, if you will. We have loose tea and tea items, mailing things, household kebabs, <laughs> bits and bobs, painting, a lot of the craft stuff for the kids. Um, so this is all crafty type stuff down to the bottom. Um, but it just does not fit this space color-wise. So here's just a little bit of a look at the dining room. We have the blues and this wall will be painted white soon. It looks white, but it has like a greenish tinge to it. So we want it to be pretty bright. Um, and so we'll be taking that all the way across the kitchen there. But the focus of today's video is this dresser. I will be painting it purple to match the tone that you see in um, those paintings that we had in the kitchen, which were once upon a time near our tea shelves. Uh, which are that purple color. So we still have that. It's like bare New Orleans. This is not our forever dining room table. Things are still a little random in here, but what I do know for sure is this needs to be purple. The knobs need to be switched out, um, and then we can like work with our big piece for the dining room here. As you see me visually preparing the space now, I'm going to share a little bit more about the project. This, like I said, has been a month in the making, and... A lot has gone down in the internal world and internal shifts. This project felt really big because it's in a space that we spend a lot of time in and it just felt like it was going to be really transformational to like the energy of the house and the, um, uh, I don't know what to say, not responsibility, but like, and not ownership, but just like really making the place our own because there are a lot of things that I was kind of waiting to hang or make choices on or buy in accordance to how the space would feel after this was all done. So I was happy to get started and um, I'm bringing all the things out. Did you just see that A5 original Filofax in the patent leather? If you're OG tidy, if you know someone that's looking for one of those, let me know because I'll sell it to them. this is all in the same position as it was last week when I carried that all down. Um, my husband did take out the sander for me and I'm so grateful and, and last night he was giving me a little bit of a demo and also at the end of the demo he said if you give me alone time I'll do it for you and honestly I would really appreciate that. <laughs> just like that we made it to the weekend and did our best to tag team the project while the kids played in the yard i was on spray paint duty i got those knobs at home depot versus buying ones you know that stuff adds up so i've been on a spray painting craze and um i think they turned out cutie here's another shot and same for the brackets you guys, I'm on my moon. Can you hear Nate standing in the garage? Music to my ears. I just put Daphne down. I'm being a monster. I'm on my moon. Did I just say that? I'm being a monster and I just want to lay down. Um, but I also really want these projects done. <laughs> so I'm going to go out and maybe put another um, coat of spray paint on. He wanted me to take out the hardware on the drawers, the old hardware, so I guess I could probably do that for him. He probably already did it. Mm, no, he didn't do that. He was continuing to sand. He was taking that job very seriously. So I had a beauty influencer moment, but with the tool and figured out righty tighty lefty Lucy and I got to work. I love these bite-sized jobs. I think it's so curious how your style will change over the years. I remember being so excited about those specific knobs. And um, now they're over. Now the moment's over. And I'm a different woman. Um, but they were cute. So I was jamming and having the time of my life the best I could. 
trying to be really present these days. Oh, Twiggy girl, she's so sweet. Shout out if you know Twiggy. So that was all we got done that weekend because... What happened? <laughs> I killed the sander. Nate's sander died and he ordered a new one. So we waited a week and then this was like the next weekend. He completed the sanding because he was like, we have to get this out of the garage. And I was like, yeah, bet. And... I didn't say that. I don't say that. I don't know. I just said that. Anyway, we had a paint party in the evening. Oh, then we got sick. You know how it is. Like, then our family got sick and we were like out for a weekend, whatever. So we're back at it. And it was fun to do the painting part. I'm into that. And it's like such a tangible manifestation. The sickness was really interesting though, because it led me to this sugar-free journey that I'm on. My relationship with sugar has completely changed almost overnight. I don't even, I don't know how to even share much about it yet because I'm still so new in it. But basically this weekend that you're seeing me paint, like I stopped eating sugar. I went sugar free. Hey everybody. Feels like long time no talk, at least on this project. It feels like it's taking forever. Um, but there is progress being made. So... Nate did kill the sander like two weekends ago when he was going at it in here. And so he ordered a new sander. It came, we've all had a cold. And, um, but even that being said, last weekend he was like, I want this out of the garage. And I'm like, great, let's do it. So yesterday he worked on finishing the sanding. So that messy part is over and we, as you saw last night, we're just chilling. We had a paint party, which feels like really sweet and cute and felt like a date. And um, I'm a projector, he's a reflector. So we just don't have the sacral in us after the kids go to bed, you know? Like our primary jobs are our jobs and then also eating and keeping the humans alive. So um, there've been a lot of changes like that, which I'd love to speak about in another vlog, but just like, a lot of just like maturity and like coming into responsibility and things so anyway we had a paint party last night and that was fun versus like the normal just chill and watch tv type of thing oh so what i wanted to say is like i'm i'm really working with the um concept of urgency in my life and that's been going well i've really been slowing down and not like moving out of reactiveness however i do want to complete this project because Samhain's coming which is new year is coming this time of like we're always honoring the ancestors yes but like this time of collective honoring of the ancestors is nearing and this is i've intended for this um to be like our family's altar in the in the living area so it feels really awkward to not have like my tea access to my teas and my like um cauldron and you know just like where i like to have things and my plants where i like to have them fuck the way i'm talking is stirring my daughter who literally slept for like 30 minutes you guys this is why i'm gonna have a breakdown just like i can't get anything done my mantra lately is that everything is always working out for me one that abraham speaks and it just is applying to everything. I'm trusting so much in divine timing, which is helping me not react in urgency about anything. And um, the urgency is also part of like the sugar impulsivity. And I really feel this maturity in all of my body, spiritual, mental, physical, energetic, beyond. Yo, my decks just arrived. I just ordered a hundred more decks because they were sold out. Thank you. And I do have orders to pack. Once again, try not to lean into urgency. I'm just going to see if I can hang out and work on this project with Daphne in the garage. <laughs> and um, I'm so stoked that the decks are here. And just like that, everything in my life has been right on time and in such flow that there's like no choice but to trust. I'm on a really interesting timeline with the angels right now. It's it's. A different feeling it's much softer loving so not not more supportive but it's a very different feeling from um, the communications and the uh, 
relationship I was having with angels last year, but it's all still rooted in trust and I'm peeling back the layers on that more than before. I'm really turning in and tucking in and that's a big part of why um, I'm doing these home projects. I really want my space to just be so reflective and so inviting to my and my family's specific energy. So this, um, once again, this project has made all the difference and has been a big uh, catalyst, even in communicating with Nate and um, talking about how we see our home and really feeling into how we use these spaces so nothing is just as it seems to me everything is deep i'm a scorpio moon and happy scorpio season so i've put it all back together again what do you think please let me know we got the birdies up putting the de existing decor back where it was the plants are so happy to have a home even a new plant actually a couple have come into our lives so it's nice to see them there and I'm getting the altar just so putting everything back with my tiny little helper right by my side it was a gloomy perfect day that day and what have you been up to what's been your life in the last month what breakthroughs and shifts are you leaning into I'm really curious to know put away my label maker all my tea things that feel so good there's the a5 again please holler at your girl otherwise it will just sit in this drawer i don't know if you noticed but the walls are white you can see that wall that the window's on that was blue before and so everything's really refreshed and bright it's called gallery white from bear and yeah that brought up like a whole communication thing with nate and it's just like so interesting how the most sort of mundane of existence and experiences bring out um, really meaningful conversations. So I'm deep in it this season, this eclipse season, and also I wouldn't have it any other way. Like this is what I came for. So I finally can put everything back together, tie my curtains. What do you think? I like to have a rug down and Twiggy really loves that rug too. So I'll give you the rundown here. Birdies, birds, birds, birds. I might move that hanging bird. New plant, just a basic altar setup. All the elements, fire, earth, water, wind. Um, this is sort of like my windy and aromatic ritual things. I used to have a um, diffuser up here, but it's downstairs right now. I'm not sure I'll put it back because it was taking off the paint. There were some tea items. Here's like sending letters and things that I don't want the kids to reach. Buckets of glitter, you know. Um, um, what's going on? Okay. So <laughs> the A5 label maker, scraps of paper, bits and bobs for office stuff. Once again, please hold. Um, painting things I gotta get on my crafts with the kids pause I think I meant to cut those out but I'm not doing it I'm not doing it um markers and here's the kicker like I can't open this bottom drawer because of how we painted the sides so <laughs> that's what it is it's real life this is a real DIY and here's me trying to get shots in front of it so What's next, you ask? I'm not really sure. I might start working on the basement. I need to find some colorful art now that I've painted the walls white. And I'm just grateful you're here with me. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. I will see you again next weekend. And bliss be with you. Happy Witches New Year.